Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to sew a very easy burp cloth. Okay, so what you'll need is a pen. This is not a fabric pen, this is just a regular old pen. Um, a pair of scissors, preferably fabric scissors if you have them. Um, some pins, a bowl, and some coordinating fabric. Um, this is the boy version that I have got this from Joanne Fabrics and then this is the backing and then this is the girl fabric that I chose these little llamas with this purple polka dot now I chose flannel for this project um, flannel is my favorite to make for cloths out of but you can definitely um, use just a regular quilting fabric and you can back it with something that is absorbent and soft and then also an iron a sewing machine and a coordinating thread so from my fabric i cut some rectangles i just kind of eyeballed it i have made a lot of burp cloths in the past so i kind of and i have five kids so i kind of know the size of a burp cloth um, so I just cut it now making sure I cut it a little bit big um, to allow for seam allowance and Since I eyeballed it and I did not measure I will go ahead and show you the size this is so you can do the same so this is about 10 inches wide by Just short of 19 inches long so instead of measuring and cutting every single piece, I only um, kind of eyeballed one rectangle. Then I laid that on top of the other fabric so that the, all of the rectangles will be the same size. I definitely prefer using a piece of fabric as my pattern. When using a piece of fabric as your pattern piece, make sure you stick with the same piece of fabric as your pattern throughout the whole project, especially if you're gonna give the burp cloths as a set, because if you keep switching fabrics, the um, size of the burp cloth could change gradually, and the first burp cloth and the last burp cloth could be dramatically different size. So I just really recommend um, sticking with the original piece of fabric so all of your burp cloths are the same size. And this is how I got the rounded edge look. I did get some pen on that bowl, but it'll come off. Um, so I just kind of laid the bowl on the corner there and I traced around with my pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this corner off right away. And then as soon as I'm done cutting this corner off, I'm gonna fold this in half, matching up the edges as best as I can. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold it the other direction and I'm gonna match up the edges as best as I can again and use this as a guide so that each side will be exactly the same. As you can see, I ironed the purple fabric and now I'm going to lay this llama fabric face down, so um, a good way to remember it is put the pretty sides together. And I went ahead and just pinned it together. I just put a couple pins in each side so that it just stays together. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need many at all. And as you can probably see, I'm not gonna trim the corners of the purple fabric. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it and use the white fabric as my guide as I'm sewing. And here I'm just gonna point out where my seam allowance is. I like to line the edge of the fabric up along with the edge of the foot. And here is a tip for you. I think it took me a little while to learn this when I first started sewing. Do not watch the needle while you sew. 
Watch your seam allowance. I always watch the edge of the fabric just to keep it lined up as I'm sewing with the edge of the foot or wherever your seam allowance is. Um, so just watch the seam allowance, don't watch the needle. And that will really help you to sew in a straight line. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, this was my starting point. This was my ending point. As you can see, I left a gap here. And at the beginning I did um, backstitch and at the end I did backstitch. So while I am turning this right side out, these stitches do not come undone. They are secure. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess um, purple fabric. And then I'm going to make some slits right here to um, make these corners look nice and clean when they are right side out. Okay, so here I'm showing you the little opening that we have left, it's just folded under. And now I'm going to iron that and I'm going to iron all the edges flat. And then I'm going to top stitch the entire thing so it has a nice clean finish. And that's it. I've made all of these in the last couple days. Let me know if you have any questions on making these down in the comments below. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and leave this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.